Hey everyone, got a fun proof for you in today's Wrath of Math lesson about a theorem characterizing cut vertices that are incident with bridges. Let V be a vertex incident with a bridge in a connected graph G. Then that vertex V is a cut vertex of G if and only if the degree of V is greater than or equal to two. If you need a recap of either of these terms, bridge or cut vertex, I'll leave links in the description to lessons I've done on the topics. Super simple though, uh, a bridge of a graph is an edge that if deleted, disconnects the graph or disconnects the component that edge belongs to. Cut vertex is the same thing, just with vertices. This is a fun proof. We'll be using uh, one other significant theorem, which I'll also leave a link in the description to a proof of, a theorem saying that an edge of a graph is a bridge if and only if that edge lies on no cycles. So we'll be using that theorem. If you're not familiar with it and its proof, check out link in the description. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get into the proof. We're going to begin by assuming that V is a cut vertex. Well, that's kind of what we'll assume. Bear with me. That's the direction we'll do first because this is an if and only if theorem. So the first thing we want to do is prove that if V is a cut vertex, if V is a cut vertex, and we're of course assuming that V is incident with a bridge. So if V is a cut vertex, then it has to have a degree greater than or equal to two. That's the first thing we want to prove. In order to prove this, we're going to prove the contrapositive, assuming that the degree of V is less than two, showing that that forces V to not be a cut vertex. And remember that our graph G, we're also assuming, is connected. So let's switch colors. We'll go to blue. And we'll get into this contrapositive proof for the first direction. So we're assuming... Oh, and let's also give a name to our edge real quick here. Um, the bridge of our graph. Let's let that bridge be E, which has end vertices U and, of course, our vertex V. So this is a bridge of our connected graph G. That is a bridge. Okay, so we're assuming, doing the contrapositive here, the degree of V is less than two. Now, if the degree of V is less than two, the only two possibilities are that the degree of V is equal to zero or the degree of V is equal to one. We know the degree of V is not equal to zero because V is adjacent to U. So the only possibility is that the degree of V is equal to one. The degree of V is equal to one. So we want to show that this forces V to not be a cut vertex. Pretty easy to see uh, that if the degree of V is equal to one, then in fact it's not a cut vertex because this means our graph looks something like this. We've got this part of the graph over here and then maybe right here is our vertex U and there is our vertex V. If we delete V, so we're looking at G minus V, clearly we've still got a connected graph, and so V is not a cut vertex. Point out as well, this isn't a cycle, it's just a, a glob that represents the graph. Obviously, we don't know exactly what it looks like. To be a little bit more formal in this argument, let me take a sip of water first, though. Since the degree of V is equal to 1, we know that any path that contains V either begins at V or ends at V. Because since there's only one edge incident with V, a path, a path can only arrive at V or leave V. It can't arrive at V and leave V without repeating an edge, in which case it wouldn't be a path. So every path that contains V either begins at V or ends at V. Thus, if we delete the vertex V, all of the paths that connect pairs of vertices in G minus V, they still exist because they didn't begin at V, they didn't end at V, and V can't be in the middle of the paths, so they all still exist in this graph, so it's still connected. Okay, so that's that. Um, v is not a cut vertex, so we'll just say G minus V is connected. This proves the first direction. We just showed that if the degree of V is less than two, then V is not a cut vertex because G minus V is connected. Thus, if V is a cut vertex, then the degree of V is greater than or equal to two. Pretty straightforward. Next direction, 
uh, is another fun direction, the other direction. Um, and it's also, it's also pretty cool. So let's see it. Now we'll assume, and again, bear with me because we're not actually going to assume this, <laughs> but what we have to prove is that if the degree of V is greater than or equal to 2, this is the other direction of the proof, if the degree of V is greater than or equal to 2, then V is a cut vertex. V is cut vertex. V is a cut vertex. And I misspoke. We are going to assume this. We're going to do this proof by contradiction. So we're going to assume the degree of V is greater than or equal to 2. So I'll write that here. The degree of V is greater than or equal to 2. And we're going to assume the opposite of what we want to prove to show that force is a contradiction. So we'll assume that G minus V is connected. That means that V is not a cut vertex. So we'll assume that G minus V is connected. Once we can uh, show this leads to a contradiction, that means that in fact G minus V is disconnected, so V is a cut vertex, and so we will be done the entire proof. So the degree of V is greater than or equal to 2, we're going to stick with the same edge name, so we got our edge E, which is equal to UV, and remember that this is a bridge, which is especially important for this direction of the proof because the contradiction is going to come from showing that E isn't a bridge, which is a contradiction because we just said it is a bridge. That's, that's part, of the, uh, part of the hypothesis here. So E equals UV, that is a bridge, but the degree of V is greater than or equal to two. So V has to be adjacent to at least one other vertex. Let's call that vertex W. So VW, we could write VW is an element of the edge set of our graph G. Again, that's because the degree of V is greater than or equal to two, so it's gotta be adjacent to at least one other vertex besides U. All right, now let's delete V from our graph and see what we're working with. So G minus V, what do we know about G minus V? Well, it's connected by our contradiction assumption because V isn't a cut vertex. Since G minus V is connected, there has to exist a path in G minus V from U to W, those two neighbors of V. So there exists A, see if I can fit this here, there exists, there exists a U W path, a U W path in G minus V. I guess I'll have to rewrite this. It's a bit of a squeeze there. So there exists a U W path which we'll call P in the graph G minus V. Because again, uh, the contradiction assumption is that V is not a cut vertex, so G minus V is connected, so there has to be a path connecting U and W in G minus V. So that looks something like this, right? We've got our vertex U, then a path. There's some number of vertices on this path. We don't know that number, uh, but the path certainly ends at the vertex W. Now, this exists in G minus V, so it also exists in G, but there's some other stuff in the whole graph G as well, right? In G, we also have our vertex V, and we know there's two edges here as well. V is adjacent to W, and V is adjacent to U, and that edge joining U and V, that's E, which was our supposed bridge, right? That's a bridge. Perhaps you see the problem now. Clearly, that edge E lies on a cycle. Combining P with this edge joining W and V and with the edge E produces a cycle in the graph G. Thus, the bridge E lies on a cycle, which is a contradiction because that means the E is not a bridge if it lies on a cycle, but we assume the E is a bridge. So let me just write that down. So E clearly lies on a cycle in the graph G, and so E is not a bridge, because remember the theorem I mentioned earlier? An edge of a graph is a bridge if and only if it lies on no cycles. So since E uh, lies on a cycle, it's not a bridge, and that contradicts the fact that E is a bridge. Thus, 
our original contradiction assumption must be wrong. So in fact, if the degree of v is greater than or equal to 2, then v is indeed a cut vertex. And that completes the proof of the theorem. v is a vertex incident with a bridge in a connected graph g. Then v is a cut vertex of g if and only if the degree of v is greater than or equal to 2. Oh, I need another sip of water. Um, I hope this video helped you understand this fun little graph theory theorem. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. It smells more